affects Mars. Well, it doesn't take long. Uh, Bernie Sanders is basically siding with Iran on this whole deal. Uh, Bernie Sanders announced his bill to block funds for war against Iran. Now, this could have worked at one time, but technology is totally different. When Japanese attacked Pearl Harbor, you know, we at least had a day where we could, the Congress could get together, and it took them 24 hours. We might not have 24 hours uh, to do something. It depends on the situation. The problem is that technology is totally different than it used to be. And that's the way it is. Uh, things are just faster. I would have no idea specifically what could happen, but I don't want to even speculate. Democratic presidential candidate Senator Bernie Sanders followed an angry attack on Donald Trump's ordered airstrike assassination of Iran's top military commander with the announcement of a new bill that, to block funding for war against Iran unless Congress approves. Sanders announced the bill in the campaign stop Saturday in Des Moines, Iowa, a measure which will be introduced with Representative Ro Canna, whoever that dirtbag is, would prohibit federal funding of any offensive military action in or against Iran without congressional authorization. Well, right there, uh, Senator Sanders, you have allied yourself with Iran. And I wish you would leave the country. If Congress wants to go to war, let Congress have the guts to vote for war. Sanders challenged. Otherwise, lawmakers must block such action. Here's don't let this president take unilateral action. So, great. This is the thing. We might have only hours or minutes. We can't wait for the Congress anymore. If something big goes down, it's one thing if it's something that you can wait for a few days for the Congress to uh, get together, but if Iran does something big and we have to wait for the Congress, we're screwed. So he's basically on the side of Iran. And so, by the way, is uh, Senator Warren. Senator Elizabeth Warren, Democrat Massachusetts, also weighed in on the conflict Saturday, calling Trump reckless and blaming him for fueling increased tensions that started with his abandonment of the Iranian nuclear deal in 2018. Well, that was no good right from the start, uh, Senator. But you, too, are basically siding with Iran. You're blaming... Donald Trump, when it's been Iran that's been causing trouble all along in the Middle East, most of the trouble there is caused by Iran, Hezbollah and so, so forth, Shiite militias everywhere. Iran's the biggest troublemaker in the Middle East. So, there you go. The Democrats are increasingly joining up with Iran. And these are all uh, presidential candidates. Go figure. I don't know what else to say here. They're on the side of Iran. I've never made a distinction uh, in my mind on something like this. <laughs> They're going to do this. They're on the side of Iran. That's the way I see it. I'm not backing down on that. I'm artifacts of Mars. So tired of scum. We'll do this type of thing. Thanks for watching.